Hey everyone, Mark Van Buren here, your mental fitness trainer, and um, I hope you are all safe, healthy, and most importantly, sane uh, during these crazy times. I just wanted to check in with you this week and actually share with you a practice that's called RAIN. So RAIN is an acronym and it stands for Recognize, Accept, or Allow, Investigate, and then non-identification, or I've heard it translated also as nourish, and I like that one as well. Anyway, so this is a practice that you can use with any difficult feelings, emotions, states of mind that arise during these difficult times. You can put this rain into practice. It's very simple. Uh, it's not a formal practice. You don't have to be sitting in meditation. Uh, this is kind of on the spot when difficulties arise. So recognize the first um, part of this RAIN exercise or practice is just recognizing, right? That This is what this whole practice is all about, is paying attention, right? Because what normally happens is these moods or states of mind arise and we're not paying attention. We're unconscious. They become who we are and they wreak havoc, you know, or they just, you know, follow whatever the 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 whatever they're gonna do that you know it's almost like double clicking um something on your computer right as soon as you double click the program starts to run so when we're not paying attention it's like double clicking on anxiety or depression or you know frustration or whatever it might be and then runs its course right it it goes and does its thing if we're paying attention right then we have a chance, right? Then we have the potential for something different to happen, right? So that's the key here is recognize. That's what meditation is. We sit down and we literally recognize what's happening, right? So in daily life, we're going through our day and then some mood starts to arise. We have to first recognize it. That's step one, right? Step two is to allow or accept. Now, most of our suffering comes from not accepting, not allowing. I don't want this, right? It shouldn't be this way. I wish for something else, right? But whatever's arising within us is just true for that moment, right? It's an impermanent thing that's happening, uh, but it is what's true. And to fight it is crazy. And I always say it's like... Um, a man or woman who goes outside and looks up and every day they get mad because the sky isn't red, right? And that seems so silly to us to even think of that. Of course the sky is blue and if somebody goes outside and says, it, it's not red, what's wrong, this is so stupid, I hate this, we think they're crazy, right? But if something arises within us, it's just there. That's what's present. So if it's anxiety, yes, anxiety is present in this moment. Right? That's just what's true. And to fight it is to be like that guy or, or girl that goes outside and says, ah, blue again. This stinks. Right? So we want to accept and allow it. And immediately, this brings ease. Right? And ease doesn't mean that we still don't have human feelings. Ease doesn't mean that we feel good or comfortable all the time. Ease is just ease. Ah, okay. Anxiety's present. Yes. Right, it's it's letting go of the resistance, letting go of the contraction. Right, anxiety is uncomfortable enough. We can't really do much uh, for that to uh, to stop that from coming up. So you know what? Ah, it's here. Let's not contract around it. Let's not make it worse. Right, by adding tension and aversion and dislike all on top of that. Our stories, our judgments, expectations, shoulds and shouldn'ts. You see how, you know, we just pile it on. So by accepting and allowing that unpleasant feeling to be there, we're not adding anything extra, right? So we can just be at ease with it. Yes, it might be uncomfortable, but we can still be at ease. The next part is investigate. And this is really, really important. We have to be willing to look, right? It takes courage to investigate. Um, and it takes kind of a beginner's mind, right? Uh, Letting go of, uh, like, I know what this is, you know, or I already know my anxiety. Well, do you really? You know, have you, have you ever felt it fully? Have you ever opened to it and, and taken a deeper look? And we're really trying to look at, you know, the deeper cause, 
And also just the nature of it. What's the nature of anxiety? How long does it last? What does it feel like? Where do you feel it? Uh, what storylines are arising? Are you believing those storylines, right? So there's so much to really begin investigating. So it's important that you're not just recognizing and accepting, but then you're looking deeply at it. You say, what is this, right? Um, and then that leads us to the end, right? Non-identification. So on one level, we can say, if I'm being aware of this emotion, then I'm not identifying as it. Right? When we're not paying attention, anxiety arises, I'm anxious, something's wrong. Right? Whereas now, when we have the recognition uh, and we start to investigate, because we're investigating it, we're already creating space. Right? So when I say, I'm aware of this tightness in my chest that I call anxiety, it's, it's no longer who I am. I'm not identifying as it. It's, it's a sensation that's arising and that's going to pass away. Right, so immediately there's ease, there's acceptance, I'm looking deeply at it, and because of all of that, I'm not identifying myself as it, so I'm not speaking or acting from it. You know, and usually the way we speak and act when we're feeling uncomfortable or in a, a bad mood is unskillful or unwholesome, right? So by not identifying with it, we have that freedom to choose otherwise. The other aspect of the N, uh, which I've been hearing lately from uh, an author, Tara Brock, is nourish. And I really like this too. So once you recognize, okay, I'm triggered, I'm hooked, okay, anxiety's present, depression's here, I'm grieving, okay, it can be here. Once you've looked a little deeply at it, then you can ask yourself, what do I need right now? So maybe you're extra anxious because of everything going on, you ask yourself, well, what do I need right now? And, and maybe you don't get an answer, and that's fine. You rest in an open kind of awareness, and you just keep going deep into the question. Um, but you might get something like, well, I'm afraid, right? So, or anything like that. And if, if that's the case, I'm afraid, then you can bring your hand to your heart and say, listen, thanks for your concern, right? I appreciate you trying to take care of me, but right now I'm safe. Right, so you're 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 just nourishing that part of yourself. Maybe you feel unloved or something, and then you could just send yourself a, a wish of loving kindness. May I be well? May I be, you know, happy? May I be fulfilled? Um, so whatever it is that that deepest part of you or that that feeling or passing mood or state that you're in is asking for, feel free to give it to yourself. Offer it to yourself. Offer it to the feeling. You know, I like to. Imagine all these difficult feelings that I have as a crying infant, and we're giving it that loving, nourishing attention. You know, we're just holding it as it is, and we're saying, I'm here, and if you want to add that extra bit, it's what do you need, right? What do you need right now? And, you know, can you offer that to yourself? And that might just be a word, like I said, safe. You know, I'm safe right now. Thank you. Right? So it's just changing our relationship to what's arising. Because if you haven't noticed, we can't necessarily control what arises, what reaction. You know, and, and as I say, you don't wake up like excited to obsess all day, right? And you don't wake up like, I can't wait to be sad all day. I can't wait to be extra anxious today. It's not how it works. You wake up and, oof very anxious today, or you wake up and, oh, I'm really sad today, or whatever it might be, it kind of just arises. So we can only really change our relationship to it. We can have a more skillful, wholesome, wise, compassionate relationship to these things. So that's your practice for this week, Rain, but let's do a short guided meditation. So um, hands on the knees or resting in the lap, sit up nice and tall, Close the eyes. Let's start with three deep breaths. So a nice deep inhale through the nose. And out the mouth. Ah. Good. And again. And out. Ah. And last one in. And let it all go. 
Allow the body to soften, the face, the jaw, the shoulders. Soften the belly, the hips, the legs. And in this moment, just start to recognize. Recognize what's happening without bias, without judgment. Hold whatever it is that's going on in your body and mind. Doesn't need to feel good. But just see what's true for you right now. And see if you can do something radical and just allow things to be that way. We spend a lot of energy fighting with reality, pushing and pulling. So let all that go. No more resisting, no more struggling, just a complete surrender to whatever's here. Maybe it's a busy mind, maybe it's anxiety, maybe it's peace and happiness, who knows? And then start to look deeply. Start to investigate. If there's a feeling present, well, what, what is it? Where is it? What does it really feel like? Is it as bad as you think? Maybe it is. But see if you can soften with whatever's there. Make yourself spacious enough to hold it, to allow it. And for these few moments, try not to identify with the thoughts, the emotions, the moods that are presenting themselves. but rather see them just as passing experiences. It's almost like you're sitting in nature and your thoughts are like the birds flying around from tree to tree. The emotions are like the leaves flowing down the stream. Not grabbing hold of anything, not calling anything me or mine. Just life flowing by. And then let's bring our hand to our heart center and finish by giving yourself whatever it is you need right now. So if you're feeling uncertain or afraid, just say, oh, I'm safe now. Right now, things are okay. Or if you're really stressed out, just allow yourself to have some ease. You can relax for a moment. It's okay. I'm here. Thank you for trying to protect me, but I'm okay. And drop the hands. Take one more deep breath. <sighs> Slowly open the eyes. So feel free to use this RAIN practice anytime. Recognize, accept, investigate, and nourish.